the final portion of the talk I want to talk about, I want to talk about what we're doing in sharing and cross-org collaboration. Um, you, if, you know, if, depending what industry you're in, you've probably seen that uh, data sharing and collaboration between companies, between organizations, uh, is becoming a really important part of the modern data space. Uh, it can help you know, providers and suppliers coordinate better. It can help you know, uh, uh, streamline a lot of business processes. Just yesterday, I met a customer who thought that they could speed up basically uh, launching new drugs by a factor of two uh, by uh, implementing these kind of technologies. Um, so, so really, uh, you know, really powerful uh, way for, for many industries to move forward. Um, and we started looking at this area about three years ago. We wanted to provide great support for it. And we started by talking to a lot of data providers who collaborate. And what they told us um, was that uh, many of the data platforms out there support some kind of sharing between different instances, but it's always closed. You can only share you know, within that same data platform, within that you know, customers of that data warehouse or whatever. And as a provider or as you know, any company that wants to collaborate with a lot of partners, this is very restrictive. So Amparity, for example, who's a, who's a, a CDP, um, said that they would prefer to invest in open solutions uh, that uh, uh, let them you know, set up data collaboration once and then be able to reach anyone regardless of what platform they're computing on. So that's the approach that we've taken with all our sharing and collaboration infrastructure uh, by creating an open collaboration ecosystem based on uh, open standards. And the core of that is Delta sharing, uh, a feature of uh, Delta Lake that allows you to securely share uh, uh, tables uh, uh, you know, across clouds and across data platforms. And then we've built on that with Databricks Marketplace and Databricks Cleanrooms. Um, so if you're not familiar with Delta sharing, uh, basically uh, this is a, a, a core part of the Delta Lake project where if you have um, you know, a table and increasingly other kinds of assets as well, uh, you can run this, this server that has an open protocol uh, and serve out just parts of your table to other parties that are um, authorized to access them. And because the protocol is open, it's a very simple one based on uh, Parquet um, you know, files that, that, are, that, are, that they're given access to, uh, it's really to easy to implement a lot of consumers. So, of course, you can use Databricks to access these, but you can also just use Pandas, Apache Spark, even BI products like Tableau and Power BI um, are, are letting you load data right into there. Um, and it makes a lot of sense. You know, if you're a data provider, you want to publish something, wh why should the other party even need to install a data warehouse in the first place? Why not deliver that data, say, straight to Tableau or straight to Excel or something like that? Um, so, so that's Delta sharing. Uh, it went GA two years ago, and uh, it's continuing to go extremely quickly. Uh, so just this year, uh, I mean, ju just now, we have over 16,000 recipients that are receiving data through Delta sharing uh, from our customers on the Databricks platform. And this is going by a factor of four year on year. So there's no, no end in sight. We're super excited about this. And the other thing I'm really proud of is that 40% uh, of those recipients are not on Databricks. So this idea of cross-platform uh, collaboration uh, is, is real, and our customers are able to deliver uh, data and to have you know, real-time data exchange with uh, anyone, regardless of what data platform they're using. So super excited about the growth of that this year. Um, we are uh, continuing to expand Delta sharing, and one really um, exciting announcement is that we're hooking together two of the, the best features of the platform, Lakehouse Federation and sharing, to let you share data automatically from other data sources as well. So we, we talk to a lot of companies who have some data in a data warehouse, or they have a partner who you know, isn't on Databricks, has another uh, platform, but they want to collaborate. And since we built this federation technology that can efficiently um, query this data, push down filters, get it out, uh, and, uh, and deliver it, um, we are just connecting that to Delta sharing to let you seamlessly do this. So now you can really share data from you know, any data warehouse, any database, with any app that understands the Delta sharing protocol. Um, so that's, that's Delta sharing. Thanks. Yeah, excited about that feature. Yeah. All right.
So one of the, um, the, the things that builds on Delta Sharing is Databricks Marketplace. This is something uh, we launched um, about two years ago. And uh, it's, um, it's um, uh, also been going extremely quickly. Um, Databricks Marketplace is now up to over 2,000 listings, again, going more than 4x year on year. Um, so super excited to see that. Um, and this makes it actually up there with the largest uh, data marketplaces anywhere in the cloud on, on any platform. So it's, it, it, and it's, it's, con it's continuing to go. Uh, our team has been adding uh, a whole bunch of new functionality there that uh, providers are asking for, like private exchanges, uh, sharing of non-data assets, uh, like models and volumes, usage analytics, and even support for non-database clients. If you put data in there, um, you, know, you, can, you can reach these other platforms as well. Um, and then we are also super excited to welcome our uh, 12 uh, new uh, partners to this, um, to, to, to the sharing and marketplace ecosystems. Uh, some of these announcements went out last week, uh, but anywhere from, from Axiom, Amparity, Atlassian, uh, industry leaders in, in, in many different domains uh, are now connecting to these ecosystems and, and making data available to users on Databricks or really on any platform that implements the open sharing protocol. And they join our existing ecosystem of partners. So thanks to all of them um, who are uh, participating in this. Great. So yeah, really, really excited to see how this will continue to go in the future.